another large-scale update has hit PAL World, and with it comes some exciting new changes that shake the game up a bit. From new altars to utilize, PALs that drop some super useful things on the ranch, new stat-boosting fruits, and more. There is plenty of content to enjoy. Let's take a look at the biggest changes to hit PAL World in the latest Raid Boss update. There's a new altar in town, and this one allows players to summon Raid Boss Pals by using slabs. This is no regular building, though, as it will bring extremely powerful Raid Boss Pals directly to your homestead, meaning you must ensure that not only you, but your pals are ready for one heck of a fight once you summon one. To get the slab for Bella Noir, you will need to collect all of the slab fragments from treasure boxes located all around the islands within dungeons. You will need to collect four of these specific slab fragments and bind them together at an assembly line using an array of different materials. Simply place the completed slab in the altar, and this will create a level 30 Bella Noir for you and your pals to defeat at the base. Be warned though, they can destroy tables and structures, so maybe place the altar away from anything vital. You also will not be able to capture the bosses spawned at the altar, so there is no use in throwing any spheres once they're there. You will, however, be able to have a Bella Noir of your own, as there is a 100% drop chance for an egg that gives you your very own Bella Noir. This new key item lets you fast travel to your nearest base in the blink of an eye from anywhere on the map. This is interesting because previously you could only fast travel using the stationary points around the world. This can be useful to get out of the cold on a frigid night in the desert if you forgot to bring your cold gear, or if you're somewhere far away from a fast travel point and just want to make a break for it. You will need to be at least level 30 to unlock the recipe in the ancient tech tree, then craft the item using 5 electric organs, 1 dazzy cloud, and 2 ancient civilization parts. Now that you have your hands on the homeward thundercloud, you can pretty much use it anywhere in the Palapagos Islands to travel to the closest base to where you're located. This is not usable while inside dungeons though, so don't plan on using this as a quick escape route if things take a turn for the worse during a fight. It is also worth noting that this is a consumable item, so it is only a one-time use. Be sure to use it wisely unless you have extras to spare. Here is one item that a lot of players will enjoy. New recovery meds that restore HP over time. This is a very nice change, as the old meds simply got rid of ailments for your pals and left players struggling before the next fight when they're out in the world. Healing just wasn't something we could do out there, so these meds are extremely useful. To make the new recovery meds, you will need a medieval medicine workbench for the recipe. You will then need five cavern mushrooms, five red berries, five pal fluids, and three cotton candy to craft one recovery med. If you haven't heard of cavern mushrooms, it's because these are also a brand new item to hit the game with the update, and they can be found inside of cave dungeons. They are bright green and give off a nice neon glow, so they are pretty easy to spot and harvest to craft yourself some very useful healing potions. It's worth noting that these are not instant heals, as the recovery meds restore 5 health per second over 600 seconds, or 10 minutes. So do not expect this to save you at 1 HP during an epic fight with a lucky pal. With the new update also comes the ability to get pal fluids directly within the ranch rather than having to catch or slay water pals. Kelp C can drop pal fluids while roaming the ranch, which is helpful since pal fluids are a staple for any homestead. Several recipes call for pal fluids, so this is for sure a much needed boost for acquiring the crafting reagent. Demud can now also drop high quality pal oil while working in the ranch, yet another staple for crafting items at the base. While these aren't massive changes, they definitely help with production of several key items such as ammo and medicine. Another addition to the game with the latest update is training manuals, which allow players to level up their pals without the need to defeat other pals or enemies around the world. Of course, you do get experience for every pal in your party when you capture any pals or take down a raid boss but these new training manuals allow pals to read them to gain experience points instantaneously. This helps to level up lower pals much quicker if you get your hands on a lucky that may be a bit on the lower side. Getting all of your pals to a higher level is imperative to success as you progress through the game, so these manuals are a much appreciated boost. There are also new ancient technical manuals that give players one ancient tech point when read. These tech points are extremely useful since there are a few things one might need from the smaller ancient technology tree along the way, and previously, you could only get ancient technology points from killing a boss for the very first time. Those are the biggest changes to hit PAL World in the latest Raid Boss update. For more, head on over to our growing wiki pages. And as always, for all things gaming, stick with IGN. Huh! <laughs>